So you're still, you're still enjoying managing? Yeah. But in managing, am I right in thinking it's one of those jobs where everyone sitting at home in their armchair, everyone thinks they can do better? Yeah. Uh, but but uh, is there one time, I guess people think they can play as well, isn't it? Some sort of, you actually bought a fa someone a fan or one, someone who was yeah. Yeah. screaming insults behind you and you, you actually bought them one to play? Yeah, I took a team to Oxford City for a pre-season game. I was manager of West Ham. And, the, we, you know, it was a lovely, like, sunny evening. And we started the game and there was a guy next to the dugout, big West Ham fan. He had Amers tattooed on his arms and he had the earrings in, Amers on them. And he started after about two minutes. Harry said, we ain't got that Lee Chapman up front again this year. We ain't going to get a decent striker. He kept on about Chapman all first half. He wouldn't leave me alone. What's he doing, Harry? He's useless. Why are you playing him again? Anyway, half time I made five substitutions and put the subs on. It was a friendly game. So the subs go on. Got no more subs. After two minutes we get an injury. So now I've only got ten men. So I turned to him, he's still shouting at me. I went, oi, I said, can you play as good as you talk? He said, I'm better than that Chapman. I went, come on then, get your gear on, we'll have a look at you. <laughs> he went, what do you mean? I said, you're playing. <laughs> he said, who for? I said, well, West Ham. He said, I ain't got any boots. I said, what size are you? He said, nines. I said to Eddie, the kit man, Eddie, get him a pair of boots. Takes him up the changing room. He gets changed, he comes waddling back. He's got feet like this, right? <laughs> Skinhead, tattoos everywhere, earrings in. Gets to the touch, he's coming on. He said, where do, I, where do you want me to play? I said, go up front. I said, I want to see if you're better than Lee Chapman. Yeah. So he goes so hold on. on. This was just, you just had it with him, just giving you yeah, the... stick all through the, the game. Time, yeah. So he's, he's gone on. The guy comes down, true story from the Tannoy system, the assistant, comes down, he wants to announce on the Tannoy who's coming on. So the people know who's on. He said, Harry, who's, who's the sub? Who's, who's number 16? I said, who's number 16? I said, you've been watching the World Cup. <laughs> Chichi Shaif, the Bulgarian striker. <laughs> he went, oh, I thought it was him. <laughs> and he came on, played up front. <laughs> he came on, played up front, scored a goal. And I've got to be honest, on the night, he was better than Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Ross here. You're watching the Jonathan Ross Show YouTube channel. This is behind the scenes stuff. We're going to try and do some more of this. But of course, I think this would be a great time to introduce you to one of tonight's guests. Gordon Ramsay is right here. Big Gordon. Yes. And you've got to... To the last Jonathan Ross show ever. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs>